Over the last 25 years, the rates of maternal mortality have more than doubled in the U.S. This is in a country that spends more per capita on healthcare than any other country on the planet. Many people think about the high-risk time related to pregnancy is while pregnant or during delivery. And in fact, the greater risk is after, often when people are no longer connected to care. The Luma Center aims to improve outcomes for new mothers, particularly during the postpartum period. We've had the fortune of both federal and state funders who see value and support our work on behalf of women, children, and families, both in Illinois and across the country. The Luma Center stands on three pillars. We need research to study the issues and figure out how best to improve outcomes. We need to train future generations of researchers and clinicians. And we need the community's voice so that the voice of those most impacted by this issue inform everything we do. One of our leading initiatives is the Two Generation Clinic. This is a redesign of a traditional clinic that provides maternal health care during pediatric care visits. It has allowed us the opportunity to make sure women get very rapid and timely care throughout the postpartum period and has proven quite successful within a traditional health care system. Dedicated research is important because it helps us identify areas of need for moms. Moms and babies are intrinsically connected together, and so if a mom is healthy, a baby tends to be more healthy. And so we're really looking to find better ways to identify potential health and mental health issues, and then develop tools to intervene. What we've learned through clinical care and through the data is that many moms who have a lot of stress have poor health outcomes during pregnancy and in the postpartum period. What we also know is that maternal mortality review committees say that more than 80% of pregnancy-related deaths are preventable. So we developed a study, it's a five-year NIH-funded study, that examines how stress and adversity across the life course impacts biology. We are recruiting women from the west side and south sides of Chicago, where there's very high rates of violence and low community investment. We know these women are living in stressful situations. So we're collecting data about them and their lives, including biological samples. We'll then take all of that information, including spatial information where they live, and understand more about how where they're living and their life course has influenced their biology and social epigenetics. As a community engagement manager at EverThrive Illinois and through our work with the Center of Excellence, it is so important for folks who are impacted by maternal health research to be at the table of research so that they know what is impacting them in their day-to-day -day life is included in the solutions of every single day. It's not enough for us to understand that there are poor outcomes. We have to also include the folks who, who need to be most centered in this work. The Community Advisory Board is functioning as early stage researchers. They have the opportunity to review study materials, dissemination, and methodology with the Center of Excellence. I wanted to get involved um, as a person with lived experience um, in maternal health projects because I gave birth at 26 weeks almost eight years ago and I had a very traumatic birth experience, um, life in the NICU, and I wanted to do something to tell my story and advocate for change around what I had gone through. When I first joined UIC as a digital storyteller, I was motivated to do so because I felt like UIC was doing something to actually make a difference. Not only were we telling our stories, but we were getting it in front of those who really needed to hear it, medical professionals, insurance companies, things like that, to actually get the change that we needed. And so joining the advisory board after doing the digital story, to me, was just like a perfect segue because it allowed me con to continue to do the work because that would make a difference in lives. I'm engaged with the community through our advisory board and their input is super important to make sure that the work that we're proposing and the research that we're doing is authentic to the need. 
it's essential for future maternal health researchers to be community engaged and that they have specific input along the entire course of the research life cycle. So specifically as researchers and um, as we're training researchers, it's very important no matter what your approach is, no matter what your idea is, that that really is community partnered and, and engaged. Early career researchers are being taught from the very beginning of their career the importance of engaging community early and often so that they don't have to think twice about that as they're developing their career. Maternal health is finally getting attention in this country. We are talking about it, studying it, trying to make improvements. My goal for the Luma Center across the state of Illinois and really our contribution to the country at large is to continue to improve outcomes so that the postpartum period can be a safe, healthy period for all new mothers. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.